This video looks at three different ways of attaching PDFs to records. The first method will look at importing directly from existing PDFs, so there is no initial record but that is created when the PDF is imported. The second way looks at finding full text automatically, where EndNote will search the web to see if it can find required PDFs. And finally, we look at attaching them manually when you've downloaded the PDF onto your computer. We'll begin by looking at importing directly from any existing PDFs that you have. This can sometimes generate a perfect record, but not always. Some of you may already have a collection of journal articles as PDFs that you've collected for your research. In such cases, you can try directly importing the PDFs into EndNote. If they have the correct metadata embedded in the file, then EndNote can create a record for them. If the metadata does not exist, it can't. There are two ways to import PDFs directly into EndNote. One is using the file import option and the other using drag and drop. To use the file import option, just go to the file menu. Go down to import and you can choose either a single file or a full folder. I'm going to use the folder option. The only import option is PDF, so you can leave that as it is and then you just click on choose to go and find your folder you would just need to find where you have saved your PDFs. Mine are on my iCloud drive in downloads and you can see I have got that journal articles PDF folder. Click OK and then just click import. There are only 10 PDFs in this folder but it still does take a little while. I've sped this up. And there you can see in the imported references folder those 10 references. Three of them, the ones at the top here, clearly did not have the required metadata. You can click on the edit option and fill that in if you wish, but quite honestly it's usually quicker to just type that into Google Scholar and see if you can find that article and import it that way and then just manually attach the PDF as I'm going to show you a little later. I'm just going to delete those three completely. The other seven all had the necessary metadata and full records have been created. To see the attached PDF just click on the summary option and you'll see a link directly at the top here to that PDF. Click on it and you can choose to open. And it will open in a new window where you can read the article or use it to find by clicking on the search button and, and typing what you want to find into this box. And you can also do some basic markup by clicking on the next icon along there where you can select where you can select some text and choose to highlight it for example you can always see which of your references has a pdf attached because you have this paperclip icon on the left hand side of it I've now just deleted those records because I want to show you the other way of doing it. I have a window here containing that folder. You can see there my journal articles PDFs. I can select those records, I can just do Control A, and then I can just drag those onto the EndNote window. Now it's important that you don't drag them onto an existing record otherwise it will attach to that record. So drag it into this section at the top where it says all references and it will then start to import those in one at a time. I'm just going to close this window now. 
you can see that is doing the same thing. This time it's just doing it one record at a time. Again, I've sped this up. So this time the imported references folder only shows the last imported reference, but if I click on my recently added, I can see them all again. And again, I'll delete those top three. The next thing you can try is asking EndNote to find the full text automatically for any records you already have. We recommend that if you're doing this off campus, you start off by putting some additional information into EndNote to help the process along. You need to get the details from the EndNote page on the referencing software skills guide. So I'm just going to go to that page. So I've gone to the skills team website, click skills guides, referencing software, and then EndNote. If you scroll down, You'll see this section here, find full text off campus via easy proxy. You're going to need to copy each of these pieces of information in turn. So I'm just going to select the open URL path and copy it. And then switching back to EndNote and I'm going to go to edit, preferences and click on the find full text option on the left hand side. Now you can see I've already got the information in but you can see there that's where I would paste that information into. The other bit is the URL. Again if I switch back, copy that URL, that's where I would paste into this box here. Click apply click OK and you're then set up ready to do your search. I'm not going to search every paper that I've got in this library, I'm just going to look at the recent papers folder that I created in the last video and I'm going to select all of the records in this folder that don't have a PDF already attached. So if I do Control A then hold my Control key down and deselect that top one. So I'm now ready to search for all of these PDFs. So I go to the button over on the right hand side here, search the web for full text documents for selected references. If it's the first time you've done it in this session, then you probably will need to fill in your details on the library single service sign on. put mine in there. Click continue. Now the place to look to check that it's happening is over here in the group section. You can see this find full text area. It's searching, it's currently searching 48 papers and it's found one PDF and two URLs. Now this will take a while so I'm going to speed up the video at this point. You can click off and carry on working while this is happening. Now this isn't a quick process. As you can see here, in real time this took about 20 minutes. But you can go off and do other things in other programs whilst it's doing it. You can see now that it's finished, it has found an additional 11 PDFs. It's found 28 records where it thinks there may be a URL where you can potentially access the PDF. I'll come back to those later. And it hasn't found anything for 11 records. Sometimes it may also find an HTML version of the article. Generally, it will always find more PDFs if you are doing this from on campus, even if you've got the easy proxy details in. And finally, we'll look at attaching the PDFs manually. Adding PDFs manually is pretty similar whether or not EndNote has found the URL for the PDF or whether you have to go off and find it yourself. So I'm going to start off by doing it for the ones where EndNote has found the URL. 
So if you click on any of these records, you can see there is a URL over on the right hand side in the summary section. The majority of these in this particular search are EBSCO host search results. If I click on that URL, it will take me through to that site and this particular one has access to a PDF on the left hand side here. So I can click on that and then download it. It doesn't matter what it's called, but you'll see it's downloaded and is available here on the status bar. Now if I just adjust my screen slightly so that you can see my taskbar at the bottom, you can now see the icon for the EndNote program. All I'm going to do is drag this from the bar there onto the EndNote program icon, which will pop EndNote up and I can then just drag that onto the selected record. When I click off of that onto the next record, it will index the PDF and you will get the paperclip symbol appearing next to that record. So if I just do that for the next one down, just repeat that process. We'll download the PDF. and drag it onto EndNote and onto the record. Now some of them, if I just choose one higher up, when you click on the link, you will find there is no PDF. You can try the Find a Hull button to see if we have access to it via a different database. This particular one did not. But there's also a link here where you can try searching for it on Google Scholar, which isn't included in the original Find Full Text search. And here you can see that there is access to a PDF. So I can do exactly the same thing as I did before. Open it up. Download it. And drag that onto my record. Not all of these did have EBSCO searches. If I just scroll down a few, here's a one that's obviously found it via Summon. If I click on that, it's the same process. I just have to sign in and download it from here. Download and drag as before. Now even though I am using the links provided by the find full text, the process is exactly the same if you are finding the PDFs independently. You may have access to it in the original search from your journal database, or you could search via Google Scholar. You can also use the attach file button up here if you've already saved the PDF onto your computer. Just click on that. The file search dialog box will open. You just locate your PDF, click open, and it will be attached to that record. You can see it up here. And again, if I click off, you'll get the paper clip. So that's how you attach PDFs manually.